is it just me? Or does it feel like we've been here before? The whole country's finished voting and only us left. You'd think Herschel Walker would want to explain what he'd do in the Senate if he actually wants to represent Georgia. Instead, he repeats the same lies, trying to distract from what we all know is true about him. But Two years later to the day. But I think see your ads for what they are. What they are. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> it's really the same ad. Do you think the folks behind it got another big paycheck? I'm Raphael Warnock, and yes, we're doing this again. The Beagle is back just in time for Georgia voters to head to the polls December 6 to decide the runoff race for U.S. Senate between the incumbent, Democrat Raphael Warnock, and his challenger, Republican Herschel Walker. And sure, the pooch is front and center, but the attack ads, they're still around. It's his terrible record. His terrible record of voting with Joe Biden 96% of the time. His terrible record about having no cash bail. His terrible record about letting prisoners out of jail. His terrible record about disinflation. You know, he's the cause of it all. And the reason why is he was that deciding vote. He could have said no and he didn't say no. You ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are cool people. What the hell is he talking about? Negative is affected, but the beagle is impactful. In fact, some political pundits say Alvin was the running mate that pushed Raphael Warnock over the top during that special election back in 2020. This time around, the Beagle seems to be a big enough threat to garner his own attack ad from the Walker campaign. Warnock's camp says Alvin belongs to a supporter. He's not missing, but suffice to say, the senator will be dog sitting until the campaign's over. That's why I approve this message. To be clear, the dog is back to push Warnock past the critical 30-30 threshold. It's a simple math equation that is pretty close to a sure thing in Georgia. In order for a Democratic candidate to win the state, they need 30% of all voters to be black and roughly 30% of white voters to pull the Democratic lever too. For a black preacher in the South, that can only be done if his white neighbors in the burbs are comfortable with him. It's nice to see somebody actually focused on us. Catherine Mershon, a philosophy professor at Western Carolina University, teaches about the ways religion, animals, and our views about both relate to American culture. She says dogs are stand-ins for implicit assumptions about what it means to be American. For Warnock, a cute beagle in a suburban setting diffuses white racial anxieties. So, an emotional support dog. Sure. Getting Alvin to show this kind of authentic love to a politician who doesn't even own a dog? That was critical. But spreading love happens to be in the beagle's DNA. The American Kennel Club says beagles are warm and friendly. They can get along with anyone. They are so affectionate. They can make a reunion with a Southern preacher look authentic. But I think Georgians will see his ass for what they are. Don't you? And as the saying goes, if your dog doesn't like someone, you probably shouldn't either. You may feel differently, but that's my take. I'm Sharon Reed. You can catch me across all platforms at Sharon Reed Live. I'll see you next time.